Hey guys, uh, I have a quick question. Uh, there's a couple of well updates or a little bit of movement on a couple of kits that I'll show. But first, I was hoping to put a question out there and maybe get tips or or an idea of what people are using out there. Um, the little spot that I'm in where I'm doing my building at, I do building in here, drawing in here. And with the paint booth bay, it, it all happens right here in this little room. Um, and currently I'm using one of the overhead light bulbs. It's one of their little curly cube fluorescent jobs, which isn't doing a bunch. And I have a desk lamp, which is also uh, fluorescent. And it lights up, I don't know, a two-foot square area maybe at the height that it's at. Uh, I've got a bunch in, in the garage. I have a bunch of shop lights. The four foot uh, fluorescent tube lights. They're really bright. Uh, but I'm just kind of wondering, does anybody use anything like that over their workspace? Uh, <laughs> I can see bringing it in here and go ahead and hanging it from this shelf right here and having it be so bright that uh, airplanes will start buzzing the house. But uh, I just I have some medical stuff going on that um, the eyeballs just aren't what they used to be. And shadows and stuff are really starting to uh, to bug me. Even drawing wise, it uh, it's getting to be quite a nuisance. And doing some painting at the booth back there uh, last night just happened to notice how how much it was really affecting me, especially working on the uh, the darker colors <clears throat> on the camo scheme. I've got the gear on it now. Uh, but working on the darker colors of this camo really, uh, I struggled with it. The, the peepers just wouldn't uh, wouldn't focus as good as they used to. So, which is kind of a bummer. And I, I it's getting to the point where I think I'm going to go ahead and schedule it, get in and get my eyeballs checked to find out if maybe my little reading glasses here. Maybe I need to step up a notch. Uh, so, I've even looked at those Ot lights. I don't know if you've seen them, like the ones at Michael's. They're super expensive. But I know art-wise, drawing, painting area, they're... So they say that those daylight type bulbs are really nice. So... Anybody using anything like that, maybe, that you could uh, show? Okay, the uh, PT boat has the scratch-made um, depth charges on deck. The rigging, I just went ahead and used some of the little uh, strip styrene that I have. It seemed to be easier than trying to run string probably a little too thick it is but it was much easier to accomplish so I've got that I've started working on the base for it and I watched Panzerman uh, built he turned me on to uh, a Japanese builder that did something which is was the direction I'm heading with this of course I'm going to swipe some of his ideas uh, I was going to bring that whole thing up to having to do with seeing other people's builds, photographs, whether you build something similar or I draw something similar, uh, because it wouldn't be an exact replica because, well, I'm not that exact. And if it's for my own personal use, display, yeah, I, I don't have a problem doing that. I just don't. 
if I was trying to do it and put it on eBay and sell it for money to profit, yeah, I can see it not being appreciated. But if you've built a model and displayed it on YouTube, and I like the techniques and want to try the techniques or uh, photograph of said, uh, and it's for my personal use that I'm going to keep for myself, not give to somebody, not sell to somebody. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mind at all trying. So, just a heads up, in case in the background you ever see a build of yours and you think, well, by God, that looks just like something. It just might be. Okay, so I started work on the base and then uh, Bill had turned me on to this Japanese builder and I watched his videos on this exact same kit. And his base is foam. And I just did it on some plywood. Uh, it just so happens I have foam in the garage. And I saw the way he shaped the wakes and waves and the explosions. So I think I'm going to scrap the base that I had going for this and try the foam. And I'll hold that base for another project, one that's not, that doesn't have so much drama going on. So yeah, there's the PT so far. I'm also in this process of trying to clean up the bench a little bit working on two kits uh, from Fernando Duarte that were uh, I don't know one of these was pretty much almost built uh, I couldn't find I'm sure that I lost it this piece here so that's underneath this tail section here that's just a piece of styrene that I cut out and fit on um, and I'm about to mask them off and go over them with some white flat just to get a base going need to go get some of that Tamiya primer I've been itching to try that with a 40% off coupon I think I will so I've got uh, this one here this one here which could be a little display I've also kind of faced the uh, in white don't know why I think I just had white paint going at the time some flat paint and instead of just wasting it I thought well yeah and I've got another crew guy going here that wasn't in the kit so there's a the little update, but the, the, the question about the lights, serious, if anybody has any, uh, if doesn't mind panning the camera around to show uh, what your setup is, there's, uh, gosh darn it, I'm trying to think of a couple of people that have, when their videos, they show them, there's, you struggle to find a shadow anywhere. It seems like no matter what angle they're going from, whether they're adjusting a, a desk lamp or what. Um, I wish I could remember just one or two of them, but of course not. And specifically, if anybody's using uh, the Ott light, I'm just curious to see. I would, I would love to see it next to a standard lamp, something like I have. Because, of course, they're at Michael's. They're all boxed up and unplugged in, so you can't turn them on, and, which is a crying shame because you're talking about lamps here that a couple of them are 200 bucks. So you should check the price of those bulbs too. That might, that might turn me off on the whole deal right there. Anyway, guys, it's Sunday. Those of you that are working tomorrow. You have my deepest sympathies. And those of you that have time off, like Waterloo, around the holidays, you lucky dogs, you. Merry Christmas. Talk to you guys later. See ya.